I had to stop and shoot this beautiful spot. Look at that tree. What? I just re-entered Arizona because the short little drive in California, I think, makes... Because I photographed on my bed. So I have... sunrise coming not sure exactly where I am I think I'm at a national monument of some sort not far from Tucson um about halfway between well I mean I think I'm like south of Phoenix so I can't be that far west of Tucson anyway The light is starting to crack on the horizon, and I need desperately to make my coffee. I'm going to do that. And um, when the sun comes up, I will show you where I am. Last night was a crazy drive-in. Um, yeah, I had no idea what I was doing. It was getting way too dark, and I just finally found a spot pulled over. <laughs> Cause, um, exhaust. I was exhausted. So we'll see what the light brings and if I'm going to move or not. Looks like a white winged dove sings a song. Sounds like she's singing, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Said him. Yeah. These clouds are making me think of that song for sure. And look at those saguaro. And my moon still hanging in the sky. Oh, 
What an amazing spot. I'm going to take a walk down the road, though, because I feel bad. Last night I got here late, and it was just getting so dark, and I was getting nervous driving around in circles, and so I didn't know where to park. And But now that I can actually see, I'm going to take a walk and see what I mean. I mean, I don't want to invade their privacy, and, you know. So, I'm just going to take a walk down this road a little bit and see if I can see anything cool. I started driving down here last night, but I'll show you why I stopped. <laughs> so, you can see the road gets a little scary looking. And I pulled part way down and then backed up because I didn't want to go any further without being able to actually see the road well. Well, uh, good thing I stopped because it looks like the road's washed out. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah. And this is why I like to get to places while it is still light out. <sighs> well, that's okay. I am um, going to finish my coffee, make my oatmeal. Getting some shade. Just getting all set up. All my stuff out. My paper is taped. And we've got a landscape to paint, my friends. Just doing a light sketch with my number 10 silver black velvet. I'm creating my desert line where I want, ooh, you know, this is why I save a lot of these really, um, almost muddy looking washes in my palette because they offer me really subtle earth tones that I can use in my underpaintings. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I know I'm t terrible, but I'm really trying, guys. All right, let's see. I want, I think I want a little vermilion in that. Yeah. I know I'm doing this with sunglasses on, which is crazy because my mixing is going to be probably wonky. But I'm curious to see what happens. I'm gonna make a nice little mountain line here. Bow, bow. Don't want it too high because I got me a saguaro. You cut across. Kind of behind, huh? And then you come up like this and kind of a, like a little swoopy thing. Just a little swoop and another little swoopy thing.
All right, let me show you where I am. So far, this is where I am. Just making out, like, you see what I'm doing there. Throwing in some shadows, giving myself a ridge line to work with. Uh, being very simple about it. Most of what's behind there is going to be a very faded cloud line and then into the clouds. So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to have fun with this. I'm going to throw in, let's see. Let's see what I got here. Yeah. So dust and hair is definitely an issue in some of these older washes. All right, come on, buddy. Off you go. Thank you. I'm just, again, creating more shadows, letting there be some wash lines, because we have a horizon line here that's got to be sort of kept to. But I want these mountains to have like a really cool pinky sandy undertone. I know I'm not talking loud. I have neighbors. So you know what, guys? I think I'm just going to shut up, paint, and um, I'll show you when it's finished or when I'm halfway there. So here's a good halfway point, still drying and having fun keeping the sky loose. And I've got some mountains going, starting to come along. So it's getting hot and I didn't want to have to fiddle with the awning. So I'm going to go back inside. Not sure how long I'm going to park here. So yeah, but I can finish this inside. I have an image and I can always jump out here and check it if I feel the need. So just did a little research and found out that the trees here in Arizona and up, uh, especially when I was over in Kofa <clears throat> a couple videos ago, I think, um, I kept calling the Mormon tea. Mormon tea. Now the Mormon tea I found, yes, in New Mexico. How Ever. What I have been finding here is not Mormon tea. It's Foothill Palo Verde, which is a very tall shrub and it is a nursemaid to the saguaro cactus. Um, I believe basically that means that it helps it grow somehow. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Learning. So this shrub tree is known for its green bark and I've been pretty enamored by it and that is what made me mistake it for a Mormon tea um but it's also you know they have this they hold their moisture so they've got these interesting branches and leaves um I am here at a time when it's not flowering so I'm not seeing the yellow but I definitely see the green bark and it, it's they are really cool. Just really cool trees. When you look at the color of the rocks facing up, you can understand why the mountains often take on that pinkish red cast. It's kind of cool. And there's similar things in New Mexico at the turtle. Right, um, one of the reasons why the turtle looks like it's lit up in gold is because of these amazing tiny little rocks that are part of the mountainside. And I know I have one in this drawer. Oh, shoot. Oh, I have this little one. But I had one that was even more indicative. Like, I'm having a hard time focusing. There it is. Even more indicative of the mountain. And it was more translucent. I know you're in here. I just cleaned this drawer out. So I know it's in here. Because I dropped it back in with my other little rocks. 
And I don't want them to sh Oh, there it is! I found it. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in my hand and try it so, so that you can see maybe the light shining through it. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna try to show it to you so you can see its color. Oh, is the sun coming back out? That might help. You can see this tiny little rock. I'll never forget it. The day that Kate found this, we were chasing the sunset. In truth or consequences. Kate's one of my new amazing friends from Truth or Consequences. And we went out just for a sunset drive and then the light changed and it was so cool. We stopped at Veteran Memorial Park, which has a great view of the turtle. And uh, the sun had just gone. We missed it. I missed it. I didn't get to take the photograph, but it was okay. She picked up this rock, which was the perfect color match for the hillside. Just awesome. Ugh. And I do not think I've ever been this tan in my life. Um, <clears throat> possibly. I don't know, maybe when I was a little kid. <laughs> I spent my life in retail and so I was just inside all the time and um yeah so um, every time I look at this camera and I see how dark I've gotten I'm like who is who's that <laughs> okay random thoughts um yeah so Naga is taking a nice nap in the driver's seat well and because uh, it is the cool spot in the van and today wasn't that bad it was been a nice breeze but I can definitely see it's going to be getting hot here soon I have to get ice tomorrow so I am going to be leaving this spot I'll be back. Well, you know, it's one of the things. I, you know, as I've been traveling along on this journey, one of the things I am doing is making notes, right? I flag all of these spots on my map as places that I really would like to come back to. And you may ask, well, why are you in such a hurry? It's not that I'm in a hurry. I have an invitation to go to the Grand Canyon, and I like traveling slow. You know, I don't like to drive more than two to three hours in a day. And I do prefer to do it mid-morning so that I can safely find my spot, unlike what I did this last time. I will remember, at least for a while, <laughs> until I do it again. <laughs> you know, I get complacent. It happens to all of us. You know, we get into a habit of doing things a certain way. And I was traveling with other people for a brief period. You know, my friend Middlebury, and we're going to hook back up again at the Grand Canyon. Yay! I'm so excited. Um... But yeah, so when I'm traveling with somebody else, I don't think about it as much. I feel, you know, I feel safe um, when I have company. When I'm by myself, like last night, you know, I never turned the camera on while I was trying to find the spot. Mostly because I didn't think about it. Let's be real. My thoughts were on, don't drive off the road. It's hard to see the edge of the road. <laughs> in the desert you know and driving slowly trying to judge whether or not I'm driving on loose sand or hard pack judging my grip every single inch of the way as I had no desire to get stuck in the sand last night and you know I'd 
talked a little bit to my neighbor today. I went over and introduced myself. Um, you know, yodeled from across the way and asked if anybody was home. I felt bad parking so close to them, but it was so, I'm, I'm not that close. I'm actually legit in the next camp site and I'm parked on the other side of it and I've opened my doors in the other direction so that we all, we kind of all have our own privacy. And, um, I photographed the other side and I did a little painting out that direction this morning, but you know, I'm just really respecting their camp. Um, but I did want to introduce myself and let her know that I'm, I'm going to be moving on. So I'm not going to be here forever. Uh, and that I just was really grateful to find that it was a couple next to me. Um, you know, but also after walking down the road this morning and seeing the washout, you know, last night that was barely visible and I almost continued forward. And thank goodness that little voice in my head said, well, stop, you know, back up, back up. Dad, thank you. Why do, why am I thanking my dad right now? He taught me how to drive using all my mirrors, <laughs> especially my side mirrors, because my side mirrors can never get obstructed by other people in the car or anything being hauled in the car, right? And uh, he had no idea I'd be driving a cargo van at some point in my life. Neither did I. But I'll tell you what, thank you, Dad, because... I got some serious skills when it comes to reverse, and I'm pretty proud of those skills, gotta say. And my view out the van doors, the shadows are getting longer and light is changing. Look how beautiful, and the clouds are creating all sorts of cool effects with light on the mountains. They've been back and forth in shadow. Right now they're in shadow. It's pretty cool. And I just love, look at how all the greenery just pops. And this is the image that you saw me framing. I often sit and just stare and study the joints, each branch to trunk. Well, my phone keeps glitching, but I'm going to keep marching forward. And look how quickly that changed, right? Night and day. Two different mountains. Incredible. I just love the light out here. Oh, I can't even turn around because the sun is too bright. But 
once it gets a little lower, we've got some good clouds in the sky to reflect color and light. Oh, it's going to be quite the show tonight. Why did Nikki tickle? <laughs> I know I am noticing the sun is dropping which means more predators are coming out I am going to close the doors and lock Nugget in the van and I am going to get changed into something a little bit warmer because the temperature is dropping and I'm going to go watch the sunset I am making myself a cup of tea, and Nugget is just about ready to come inside as soon as my tea is finished. And look at the gorgeous sunset colors on the mountain there. What? Show. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Can't forget this side, look at that. Ooh, hello. Pretty pink mountains. This light and color is so amazing behind me. Oh, I know. I, I, there it is. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> One last roll for the kid. Having one last roll before we go to bed. Oh. Now, pets and vans. Look at her. Happy kitten. I was just pulling out of here and look! The twisted saguaro marks the spot. I should have known this was where I was supposed to be parking. Look at that! Look at all its little twisties. There it is. Me, my spirit in saguaro form. 